You can do it. I can do it. Everybody can do it. It's very easy. You just need to know mathematics. Yo, hi everybody. Welcome back to the Bitcoin Day Trader channel. And today I'm gonna teach you guys how to generate a private key. I've been receiving a lot of emails about private keys. So let me just show you some of them. Here, this is one of my favorite. It was the first one I ever got. It says, hi, how are you? Please help me. How can hack private key others address Bitcoin address Bitcoin many BTC reach? That probably means, how can I hack the wallet of someone else? I need the Bitcoin private key getting tool. Private key, how I get it. Give me please private key generator, please. Hello sir, I need your help. Please tell me how to generate private keys by using BTC address. Can I have please your software in getting private keys? Some people call me Mr. Hacker. As you can see here, Mr. Hacker, your attention is highly needed. So as you guys can see, I have loads of those emails. Please provide step by step instructions. So this video is gonna be a step by step instruction. You guys ready? We can do this. But before we can do so, it is important for us to understand what the key actually is. What is a private key? What is encryption? What is a public key and an address? And how do you get those? And most importantly, how can we reverse the mathematics so that we can create a private key from just an address? That's what you guys want. Yeah, somebody that obviously imported an address into his blockchain wallet. If you just import an address, uh, you need a private key to actually use the address because the address is nothing else than, for instance, a bank account. You can give somebody your bank account, but once somebody has your bank account, they can send you funds to that bank account, but they cannot withdraw funds from that bank number because they need to have your private card with a pin. Well, in this analogy, your credit card or pin card in combination with the pin number would be the private key of your bank account. And that bank account number that you share with everybody would be your address. Uh, whenever you have a wallet, you generate offline a private key. The private key is being generated by a random number generator. That random number generator is generating 256 bits. So a bit would be either a zero or a one. So we have a large line of code of, well, not even code, a binary number. So whenever you generate a new address, you generate a new key, that's where it starts. And that key is being transformed into an address. What's important to know is that the digital keys, the private keys are not stored on the network. They are stored offline in your wallet. And your wallet file is just an encrypted database of the private keys that you own. Those private keys are very private. Nobody is supposed to see them. You are not even supposed to see them because once you're able to see them, hackers would be able to see them. So they should be private at all times. So it's always best to never ever have a digital version of your private key and only the encrypted version that is in the wallet that you're using. So way back in the days, like hundreds of years ago, when somebody wanted to send somebody a message, you write a letter. But if somebody would get that letter, he would receive your message. In order for them to safely send each other messages, they wanted to have an encryption on the messages. So the most easy idea of encryption would be, for instance, that you change every letter of the alphabet by a certain amount of numbers. So let's say one, very easy, plus one, would mean that every A would be a B and every E would be an F. So what this means is that every letter moves a position. This means that they're using a mathematical technique to encrypt their messages. How does the Bitcoin protocol generate a new private key? That's the main question. It starts with something that they call an elliptic curve cryptography. What does this mean? Elliptic curve would be a curve shaped a little bit like L shape. I don't know, like Casper the ghost, but it has a weird wave. That wave is there because we have an X to the third power, X to the power three, uh, which means X times X times X in combination with Y squared. So as you can see here, that, that's the basis of the fact that it would move in that order or something. We have an elliptic curve and in this formula X and Y are positions on the curve. The private key is actually a X and Y coordinate, a location on the curve in binary numbers. You can divide the private key, you can split it in half. First part is your X coordinate, the second part is your Y coordinate. Where to go from here? As you see here, Bitcoin uses a curve and that curve can be represented by this formula. Y squared modulus P equals 
x to the third plus seven modulus p. And what will be this modulus p? The modulus part of this formula is the tricky part of the formula. It is one of the techniques that makes it very hard to reverse the mathematics. The first time I ever encountered modulus would be in programming. So then I didn't understand what a modulus was and why you would even use it. The modulus in simple words. The easiest analogy for modulus would be the clock analogy. Imagine yourself a Friday night, all ready to go out to the city. It's like 10 o'clock. Somebody's asking you, when do you think you're gonna get home? And you'll be like, I'm gonna go to the city, drink a beer, and that would probably take me five hours. In this analogy, it was 10 o'clock at night. You said plus five hours. If you would say 22 plus five, you would get to a number that you're not easy with, 27. How do you figure out what the actual time would be in AM and PM? That's the 12 hour clock that we're all using. In this situation, we can write down 22 plus five modulus 20. 12. And the answer would be free. And why? What the modulus does is trying to make a multiplication of the modulus number that you input and the remainder would be the answer of the modulus. You can put 2 times 12 in it, you can just erase that part, it will be 24 and the remainder will be free. So the answer would be free. You'll be asking me why is this so important? What's, what's the point of this? The hardest part about this formula is transforming it back. It is virtually impossible to know what the x was only knowing the answer because there are lots of different possible x's that get to the same solution. It is useless to try to revert this calculation. So as you can see here in this formula they have modulus p where p would be a prime number and that prime number would be a very very large number. As a matter of fact that number is gonna be... I thought it was this number. It is a very large number. It is a very large prime. So, okay, so big deal. You guys, uh, you, you figured out that the private key is actually a X and Y position on a graph and for some magical reason, it gives us an address. So how did we get from a private key to an address? There's a lot of mathematics and encryption going from the private key to the public key or eventually the address. The main general idea is is a little bit like this. We all have our shared G point, the, the base number. It was our generator number. Uh, if, we, if we're gonna try and visualize a multiplication of the generator point on the graph, it would look something like this. So you have a graph here. You start with the tangent point of the graph and the tangent point is, if you have a curve like this, it is like a skier on a slope. Whenever you have a point, you take the tangent and you make it a line in this curve, it always cuts another part of the curve. They get the tangent of the generator point. It crosses the same curve on another location. They transfer it over the X, so it's a mirror image. So as you guys can see, it is very hard to actually do the mathematics of getting from private key to an address and it's even harder and it's it's impossible to do the mathematics the other way around to reverse this formula it's not possible it's easier to try every possible input to get the right output it's, it's just as much work as trying to reverse this whole situation so what this means is that it is impossible to generate a private key from an address it's just not possible it is no way if somebody is trying to trick you into buying some private key generator stuff, it is 100% sure scam, because it is impossible. Because if it was possible, Bitcoin would not be as expensive as it is today. Because the whole idea of Bitcoin is this encryption safety, and if that is compromised, it will lose all its value. Because that's the trust we have in the system. The trust that we have in the Bitcoin protocol is the fact that this system is built in a way that we cannot reverse this formula. We cannot create a private key from an address. We cannot use the public information and create a private information. It is the other way around. You start with private information and from the private information you can derive a public address, a public key. I hope that this made some sense to you guys. I hope I can edit it in a way that you guys really understand it because it was hard explaining this. I hope that you guys now know that you're not gonna be able to generate a private key as much as you want it, as smart as you are, even if you have the best computer, it's gonna take you millennia to do that. You won't even be around if you have a supercomputer able to do these calculations. You won't survive it because it's too hard. I thought it was an interesting topic. I make these videos every once in a while and 
it's not always like this. Sometimes it's a tutorial, sometimes it's just a vloggy situation. But I make these videos every once in a while. If you did enjoy this video and you want to see more of these kind of videos in the future, be sure to subscribe to my channel if you're new. And if you did enjoy this, uh, give it a big thumbs up, give it a like. I want to thank you guys for watching. And as always, thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time. This this is gonna be my favorite, one of the best, best emails I got. So check this out. It said, urgent, please. Please, can you help me with this private key? So he was asking me if I could get the private key of this wallet. So check this out. It's this wallet. They're, they're free D2. So let's go to the top top 100 richest Bitcoin wallets. And whoa, it's the number one wallet. So if I could do this, I would be the richest guy in, in, in the Bitcoin community. Yes, I would be. But I am not yet. Even me.